Everyone is offended. Everyone fucking hates you. Everyone takes your thoughts and opinions and they fucking cancel you for it when everyone has different thoughts and opinions. But if it doesn't align to current fucking thinking, oh my god, you're a goddamn demon. <laughs> Oh, and then a bear kills him. God. You know, I'm really looking forward to dying. I'll just be honest. I'll be in heaven. I don't have to deal with stupid idiots. I don't. Because I really don't want to deal with stupid idiots anymore. It's to that point, man. You know what I mean? Killed by a jellyfish, level 10. Oh... Uh. Lucky fucking jellyfish, dude. <laughs> no, Mike was killed by a jellyfish. Man. Oh, well, lucky <laughs> Mike, man. In that game. I guess so. I love you. <sighs> I feel like shit, guys. I haven't had medicine in days. And I feel like utter dog shit. And I... I don't even have Tylenol anymore. That's the worst of it, is like, when you don't even have Tylenol, and you're in so much pain, and all you can do is just lie there. Like, I don't think people realize how, like, draining, horrible fucking pain is. You know? And it's so sad how this world is right now. It's so sad. Because no one cares about each other at all. No one cares about each other and they're just always just thinking about themselves and what they want and what they need in life, man. And, and I... Like, everyone complains about all this fucking shit, and it's like, I can barely lift my fucking head up. I feel so fucking bad. The last few days have been the worst. I can't lift my head up. I have no energy. Walking is just... Horrible. And I have to wait till the next fucking appointment. Which is forever. I hate America. I hate the medical system in America. Where it's like, they see someone, and they know they're notably in horrible fucking pain. And all they can do is be like, well you could take in Tylenol. Excuse me? Do you think Tylenol's gonna work with a pain scale of 12? Are you a fucking moron? What is Tylenol gonna do but take it down a half a fucking point? And I think people who live with chronic pain and other issues that cause them pain, I think they really fucking understand. Because for some reason, the medical field is so obsessed over addiction that they forgot that people need to get the fuck out of pain. And you're allowing them to suffer over your fear of fucking addiction. And that's what you stupid people always do, man. You always fear things before allowing things to happen. You fear it. You fear and you're scared and you're cowards and and you don't allow people to actually thrive and be happy man like I'd be a lot more functional in my life if I didn't feel like every single bone in my body was being fucking shattered mm -hmm. I, 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 I'd feel a lot mm -hmm. fucking better if my breasts didn't feel like they were being eaten away it feels like they're burnt to shit. Like open wounds, open sores, seeping, blood, all of that. And I'm told 
Tylenol. And I don't even have it. So fuck you, medical field. Fuck you. Like, you think I'm going to trust doctors and nurses when I tell you what's going on with me? And you don't even fucking listen or help me out? I don't even fucking help a motherfucker out. Because you're worried about addiction. Fuck you and your stupid fucking fear of fucking addiction. I'm fucking suffering here. I'm fucking suffering. And I get made fun of for my suffering too. I get made fun of for my suffering. And people make money off my suffering. That's a fucked up shit. They make money off it. And then they tell me I'm a horrible fucking person. While they're making money off a very sick woman. And not even giving it a share because it's her fucking content. Fuck you, world. Fuck you. I hope you guys enjoy watching me die and suffer in pain. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you fucking enjoy it. You know, because I gave everything I had to people. I gave everything. I helped everyone I possibly could. And now I can't even help myself. It is awful. It's awful. My body can't even work. <laughs> it won't even make it work. <laughs> it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. It takes forever to get off fucking disability. It takes fucking forever. And it's like, I'm suffering here. I need help. And no, no. Do you get help, Shannon, after helping so many fucking people in your life? No. You get told that you're dog shit and you don't deserve help. You, you What you deserve is to be homeless. Lying in a fucking, on the fucking street with your kids taken away and you completely with nothing. That's what I've been told that I deserve after helping those same goddamn people. <sighs> and... And you're blocked. My baby girl. <sighs> America doesn't give a fuck about people anymore. The medical field don't give a fuck about you. The government don't give a fuck about you. No one gives a fuck about you. They just want you to rot there and die after asking so much, so many people to fucking help you. So I'll just rot here and fucking die. Because that's all I can fucking do because there's nothing I can do. I'm like a rock, a, a worthless fucking rock that can't fucking move and can't fucking do anything but just stay there. That's, that's what I am. 
That's what I, um... And the fucking doctors wait until your next appointment. Wait until your next appointment. Wait until your next appointment. Fuck you. Why can't you help me now? When I need it the most. No. You have to wait. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Some people here know what's going on with me. They know what's going on with me. Some people here. But what do you do when you're in severe pain and the doctors won't help you with it? What do you fucking do? There's a huge fucking question that needs to be fucking answered. Because what they're doing in the United States to their citizens is disgusting. I think I was one of the chosen to die. And I... I'm fine with it. I just wish it would just happen and get over with it, you know, at this point. I'm like, I'm like a lame horse. And it's just like, just... <laughs> no one should feel like this, no one. And I know I'm not the only one in the United States that feel like this. I know I'm not the only one, you know. A lot of people feel like me right now. A lot of people are in my position right now where they don't know where the next next place they're going to go. And they have no money and the government ain't helping them anymore. A lot of people are going through it, you know. I don't know if a lot of people are doing that while fighting this horrible fucking thing from hell. I don't know. But I... I... need help. And I need hope. And I need to know that someone fucking cares. Because men, men, they don't really fucking care. I'll just be honest with you. You know what they care about? The cooter. They want to see your tits. They want to see your ass. They want to see your pussy. But do they want to, do they actually want to see the heart? Like, I don't know how many men come to me all the time and all they want to do is see my fucking body. Why do you want to see my fucking body? It's fucking gross. It's, it's full of fucking sores and... Ugh, it's gross. Things that look like liver spots all over your body, honey. I know I am. You don't want to see me. 
I'd rather have my heart valued than my body. I mean, Jesus, seriously, dudes. A vagina feels just like any other fucking vagina. Why do you have to have so many fucking vaginas? Why do you have to have so many fucking varieties? It's stupid. It's like, can't you fucking settle for one fucking chick instead of fucking spreading fucking disease around in the United States or the world or wherever the fuck you are? I don't really fucking care. Like, does monogamy even exist anymore? Like, I like, I look at, like, the friends I had in Duluth, and they all fucked each other. And they exchanged partners, and they, it was just so gross to me. It's just so gross. And... Me, I, I just, I just, I just want, I don't even want that anymore so much sex. I don't, because I don't feel like sexy anymore. I feel gross. I feel like a pus-filled pocket that's just ready to fucking explode. I feel ill. I feel sick. I feel nauseous all the time. You know, it's like, but I want to be valued for this and this. I don't want to be valued for my fucking body. Because bodies don't even fucking matter at the end of the day. Because most people, when they have sex, they have sex in the dark. So why are you worried about how a motherfucker looks? Just be honest. No, I don't want to show my fucking body to a bunch of fucking men. You know, when I did that, when I did show my body, I was sexually harassed and told how disgusting I was. I was told I wasn't doing what I was doing right. I was completely sexually harassed. And they think it's okay because it's like, well, you put it out there. That doesn't mean you have the right to sexually harass a woman. Like, ever thought about keeping your fucking opinions to yourself? Instead of being a rude piece of shit human? Like... It's gonna be horrible soon. There's gonna be six million fucking families homeless. Six million and all these fucking like reaction channels, they could be talking about this. They could be helping people. But instead they focus on one person to to just destroy in every way. And I believe this, that they gave me cancer. I believe all the stress they've put on me throughout the years has killed me. I believe that. Because I'm not happy in my life. I'm not happy, and I haven't been for a very long time, because I'm in so much pain, and I've gone through so much fucking trauma, that I don't even function right anymore, and I don't know what to do. To feel better anymore, I know.
You know, the most I can do is just lie on the couch or on my bed and just watch something. Because even gaming, even that, yeah, I have to sit up and do that. It's so much energy. Walking to the bathroom is so much energy. Everything feels like everything. It takes so much fucking energy. And I want my life back. I want my fucking life back. The hell I've been getting is sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker. <laughs> getting sicker, I'm getting harassed more. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just too much to take. It's too much to take. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know where my life is going to be. <laughs> Every night I put my head down to go to sleep, and I'm like, this is going to be the last day. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people, they see someone young, and they think, oh, they're healthy, you know. Some people are really, really sick at a young age. <sighs> and I'm suffering so much. I, I do want to go home. I do. Because I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to suffer anymore. I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't want to be tired anymore. It was funny, like, three weeks ago. G-Man invited us to go to the park with him. And... I could barely walk in the park, and I collapsed in the middle of it. G-Man felt really bad. Cause he knows how sick I am now. <laughs> and it's like, I hate that, cause I know how much... I know how much he loves me, and he's watching me dying, and he, he, and I see the pain in his eyes, and I see that in my husband's eyes, the same look, the same look of horror, because they're seeing someone they love very much go yeah. and fade away. I don't even talk that much anymore. I just, like, I don't have the energy for that. kind of funny, these people who make fun of me. They said they want to be doctors to help people what I have. Mm -hmm. And instead they harass me until I have it. Maybe that's the research they wanted. They wanted to see if stress causes it. Well, it does. Oh, that's definite. Confirmed. That's definite. You won. <laughs> you won. You won. <laughs> I'm afraid.
pray for my boys too. <laughs> Cause it's like I want to stay as long as I can for them, but it's like at this point it's like I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the swelling. That's that's the worst of it. Is my swelling. Like there's times my feet are so swollen. It looks almost like duck feet. It's so swollen. It's so bad. And the doctors tell you to wait. Wait. And I suffer. I don't know how much longer I have, guys. I don't know if I can keep up. Because <laughs> it's so bad lately. It's so bad feeling, my, feeling me. It's just so bad. <laughs> and, and the hospital says, take Tylenol whenever you feel like that. It doesn't work. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> like if they they try to pl play this game of of being concerned, but they don't lift one finger to help me. To encourage me or to edify me. They just make fun of me, but yet say they care. I say when you say you care about me and I'm just a joke to you, you are a liar. You are a liar. <sighs> They are liars. They don't care about me. They aren't there for me. They lie. Like I tried to get a hold of my family because my mom is said to be dying. And they block me. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. <sighs> I just want to be loved. Because all I ever wanted was to be loved. And everyone I tried to show love to, they always abandoned me. And then they went around and said what kind of fucking horrible person I am. While not even saying why I'm a horrible person, they just say I'm a horrible person. I don't hurt people. And if I ever did hurt someone, it was never intentionally. Because I don't like it. I don't like hurting people. It makes me feel bad to hurt others. It don't make me feel powerful. It don't make me feel like I have something over someone. It makes me terrible about myself. Because I know how it feels to be hurt by others. So I just don't do it. 
I don't hurt others. I don't act out on revenge because I know vengeance is the Lord's and he will do it better than I ever would. Because when the Lord strikes vengeance, he teaches you to never do that fucking asshole stuff again to another person. But when another person does vengeance, no, that causes more turmoil and it causes more hate. And then the other person gets vengeful on the other person and it's just back and forth fucking bullshit. And it's all a waste of fucking time. It's a waste of fucking energy and it's a waste of fucking life. If you want to put an impact on this world, if you want people to be there, if you really want to show the world something, you love motherfuckers. No matter, you love them. No matter what they did, you love them. No matter what they say, you love them regardless. You love them. You love them like Jesus loved you. You love them how your parents love you. You love people because it's the right thing to do. It's the best thing to do for all mankind. All mankind would benefit if everyone loved each other. We would all benefit. Hatred does not do anyone any good and it doesn't do any benefits because eventually the person who's hated on a bunch of people will eventually get their comeuppance. They will. And then they suffer over them causing others to suffer. And then other people suffer because of that. And it's a vicious fucking cycle of suffering caused by just ego. Like, if I leave any impact on the world, if I leave any impact on the motherfucking world, it's for a mankind. To just love each other and stop hating on each other and help each other out when they need it. <laughs> Lift them up. Jesus Christ said, Give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. That's edifying someone. It's helping someone out of their dark point and raising them to the top so they don't have to depend on nobody anymore. But people don't do that anymore. People don't do that anymore. Instead, they tear each other down thinking it will benefit themselves. When in the long run, it's not going to benefit you. It's going to hurt you. Because you're going to be standing in front of Jesus someday. You're going to be standing in front of fucking Jesus. And he's going to put so much hurt in your soul over all the things you've done to people. And all the hurt you've done to people. He's going to do that. He's going to make you feel their pain. And then you're going to be on your knees crying saying sorry. I'm sorry. And you're going to realize the consequences what you did to others. Or you could realize it now, and this world, and make it fucking change in this world, and benefit as everyone. If It all starts with you and your heart, and what you're thinking, and how you do. You don't need to always fucking insult people. You don't have to make fun of people. It's so ugly to make fun of someone, to hurt someone beyond their fucking belief. <laughs> And you're killing them inside. You're killing them inside. And you think it's funny to kill someone inside. You think it's funny. No, it's not. It's cruel. 
It's cruel and you need therapy. And, and, and people who see people making fun of people, you need to call them out. You need to tell them to stop doing that and stop treating people like that because it's unhealthy for them and it's unhealthy for you. That's what I would put onto the world. That's what I want the lesson of the world is. That's the impact I want to put on the world. Because human beings can be so much better than what they are. And they choose to be poor and low-leveled. They choose to be that. They don't choose to be better. And they can. They're capable of it. You guys are so much capable of being so much better than what you are. All the love that you're wasted. All the joy that you're just pushing away. All of that, you could be so much better. <laughs> but most of you disappoint me in that. Like, I've, I've said this to Jason since I known him. Money does not impress me. Money does not impress me. It will help you if you need it. Yeah. But it does not impress me. What impresses me is kindness, charity, love. And, and this is a big one that fucking impresses me. Forgiveness. When I see someone forgive another person, that is the most beautiful thing. And the most humanitarian thing you can do for another person is when they come to you with all their heart. And they're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've done this to you. And then you forgive them. No matter how much it still hurts you, you still forgive them. It's wonderful. And you'll be blessed greatly by it. You'll be blessed. I mean, would you rather be blessed than cursed? Would you rather go to heaven than hell? A lot of people are a lot of people use the excuse, well, heaven would be boring to me. Well, I'd rather be bored in heaven than tortured in hell. That's just dumb. And I don't think you're going to be bored at all. Because you're going to be acquiring vast amounts of knowledge. And vast amounts of, 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 of things and to do and people to talk to and animals to pet and love. And food. You'll be able to eat whatever the fuck you want and you won't get fat. Heaven is wonderful, and all these stupid motherfuckers rather go to fucking hell because they say there's a party in hell, and no, it's not. It's it's black, it's hot, it's dark, it's people crawling over each other, it's people eating each other, it's people vomiting and shitting and pissing on each other. Hell is awful. Hell is every. This is what hell is. It is everything that is negative about you, but all the good of you was stripped away. It's your negative. That is what hell is. You don't want to go there. But in heaven, all that bad is stripped away. And all there's left is that good, that love, that joy, that forgiveness, that mercy. All of that's there, and it's wonderful, and it's what I want. People need to start coming to Christ. We don't have much left in this world 
We're going to be dying soon. And you need to come to terms with that. Scientists are beginning to say that our oceans are going to have 0% oxygen, a.k.a. hypoxia. Our fish, our ocean life, our coral, it's all going to die. Global warming is unstoppable at this point. Our Earth is trapping twice as much as heat, and it's going to triple soon. The very elements are going to burn. We're getting all this flooding right now because that's what happens right before the fucking world collapses. The flooding is caused because we have so much heat in our atmosphere. Our, our waters are are evaporating into clouds it's that much heat and it can only do that a few times before there's no water left on earth we have a cancer in our earth right now there's this big our our, our core one part of our core is growing far more bigger than the other side it's cancer and when that blows, dude, when all that pressure blows, we're all dead. And then there's the part of the universe we're in right now. Where we're, where we're going to be pummeled with more meteors and asteroids. It's all science. I'm just speaking science. All what we've heard. All what we know. Our sun, there's something wrong with our sun. It's too hot. It's too hot. There's going to be a time where our sun is going to become black and the moon will not give out any more light. Gonna be a time when that happens. We have to we have to seek Jesus Christ. We have to seek Jesus Christ. There's no choice. There's there's no choice you can make but seek Jesus Christ at this moment. Because you don't want to go to hell. You don't want to feel that. You don't want to feel that. You don't want to go through it. You don't. You know? The more I go to the grave, the closer I get to God. So I'm just going to speak his words. God is my king, man. Jesus is my authority. And he is my everything. I am looking forward to being by his side. I'll be honest, I am. To be able to hug him, to see my grandpa. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm glad. I'm glad I have zero doubt. Zero doubt. I know Jesus. I know him, and I'm proud that I know him, and I'm not afraid, and I'm not ashamed of saying that, because when I'm alone, and I have no hope, he's there, he's always there.
And I know deep down you know that. Because whenever you're in trouble, you're there talking to him. If you believe him or not, you're still praying. Everyone prays even though they say it or not. Jesus is beautiful. Why would you not want to know the creator of the universe? All you stupid fucking atheists out there. Why would you not want to know the creator? Why would you not want to be able to ask all this knowledge? You're so fucking stupid. You're so fucking stupid. You know what the best thing of being friends with God is? Is you can ask him a question and he'll answer it for you. And you know 100% that is true. Why do you need science when you have God? All, all science does is explain what is. But God can spl explain how it came to be. Like, that's far more groovier of knowledge. You know? than just perspective knowledge that humans have. Uh, I see God's knowledge. I see God's love. I see God's grace and mercy. Mankind has shown me there is no mercy. Mankind has shown me ruthlessness. Especially atheists. They show me nothing but ruthlessness. Like if you really wanted to impress me. If you really wanted me to be an atheist. Bullying me and torturing me. Would it work? Because God is kind to me. You should have been kind to me. You lost by not being kind. Like you're losing your soul because you're not kind. Sorry. Honey is always going to be better than vinegar. It's sweet to the tongue. And it, it's healing. Honey. Honey doesn't let the infections in. It's sterile. Vinegar, on the other hand. Vinegar burns. Vinegar gives a sour taste on your tongue. Even though it may somewhat clean. But it dries up so fast that it's not proper for wounds. And it burns on wounds. You put honey on a wound though, it'll heal it like Neosporin. Honey is greater than vinegar, honey, in every way possible. That's knowledge. That's truth. That's wisdom. From the heavenly one from above. From God himself. He let you know how to live through his nature. He put markers on himself all through nature. People are so blind that they can't even see him work. <sighs> you know, you want to call God cruel and mean, but yet he allows you people who ridicule him to live every day. You have air in your lungs because of him.
You live because of him and nobody else. No one else is keeping you alive but God. So why don't you give God a chance while you still have the chance? Because we only have a few years left. And if global warming doesn't take us out, oh, there's going to be another thing that takes us out of our natural selves, and that's AI. They're going to eventually take over. They're going to be way more intelligent than you and me. And they're going to drill stuff in your body and in your brain and put stuff in you. And they can all track you down. And then also they can shut you off if they find you in superior. Do you really think mankind should go down that route of cybernetics? I don't think so. I think it's evil. I think it's a bad choice. I think, in all honesty, the natives had it right. The natives had it right in how to live in this world. To live amongst nature, but not take advantage of nature. They did it beautifully. They did it well. And they did it within God's grace and mercy. It's beautiful how the natives lived. And I would love... To live like that. To be blended back into nature. And, and thrive off it. And not take advantage of nature. But love nature. Love this earth. Because mankind has destroyed it. You wanted to go faster. You wanted to go distance it, long distances in short amount of times. So you invented carbon fossil fuels. And it burned up our atmosphere and destroyed our ozone layer. You people wanted technology and all this other stuff. But really it's made of all mankind into some form of mental illness where we can't even communicate with each other or love each other it has caused the love of many to wax cold that is that is technology that is the internet because it's so easy to say something very cruel to someone on the internet it's just a couple clicks and you, you don't feel like you have to take the most responsibility to it. Because you don't have to see them cry. You don't have to see them upset like you would with a family member in your same house. Or a co-worker. You wanted all this stuff and you destroyed our fucking earth, you assholes. I don't even like this stuff anymore. It's like garbage. Like the internet is just a ruthless, cruel, cold existence. It's hard to find real people on it that care. And then you got our planes and our cars, our factories, all pumping that fucking pollution into our air. Was technology really worth it? The natives, on the other hand, they lived amongst nature and within nature and didn't take advantage of nature. And when the white man came over to America, they saw that it was absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. 
you know, why America was dropped dead gorgeous when you came here, white folks? It's because the natives took care of it and loved it and honored it. They didn't put buildings, permanent buildings all over the place and decided to make huge giant farms for just money purposes that would trap a bunch of methane gas and put it more into our air quality. No, instead they were hunters and gatherers. They took what God gave them and you selfish bastards, you decided to go for the love of money, which is the root of all evil. That's what you chose is money over nature. Mammon over God. You all should be ashamed of yourselves for what you've done to our earth and to mankind. You should be ashamed how you treat your fellow man. You should be ashamed. But you can stop what you're doing right now and become better than you were. You could start loving mankind. You could start being there for them. That's what I want for mankind. I want you to do better. I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to do better. Because I know you can do better. You just have to do it. And you just have to say no to bad behavior. I do. I don't like yelling at people. I don't like hurting people. I don't. So do better. Love your fellow man. And stop hurting each other. And take care of this earth. This earth would do a lot better if we gave away all our cars. And started riding on ponies. I'll just be honest. We'd be doing God's will if we did. Because we'd be in the confines of nature. Man-made shit is man-made shit, and it's terrible for everyone. Go back into nature. Go talk to God. You should never rely on mankind. Because mankind is selfish. And crude and rude and malicious. That's what the world showed me. That's what I'm going to be dying with. Is knowing that mankind is cruel and selfish and arrogant. I'm not going to die thinking mankind is good. Because it was never shown to me. And I'm just one voice. Your children feel the same way. Trust me. Peace of Aranatha.